In this video, I am going to explain how you can create the fishbone diagram in the mini tab. So one of my colleague, Mr. Vinod Kumar, he explained the introduction about the fishbone diagram means what is fishbone diagram, who introduced the fishbone diagram, where we can use the fishbone diagram, what is the outcome of the fishbone diagram, this and all explained by one of my colleague, Mr. Vinod Kumar. I will give the link of that video in the below comment session. You can refer that video. But in this video, I am going to explain you how you can create the fishbone diagram in the mini tab. Now, in the fishbone diagram, we need the effect and the causes for the problem or effect, right? So we have, we should have an effect for that effect, particular effect, what are all the causes for that effect? I have listed all the causes. Then I have categorized the causes in a different, different bones. My bones are measurements, others, personal, environment, method, machine, right? So in the personal, we have a uh, absence, right? In the personal, we have an absence. For absence, further I have drilled down the personal reason, staff absence, and I have find out the possible root causes for that absence alone. So I have listed down the causes, possible causes for the absence in the H column. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to copy all this content. Then I am going to paste it in the mini tab, right? Let me share the mini tab screen. Now we are at the mini tab worksheet. I have pasted all the reasons here. So here, I have to select stat, quality tool, then cause and effect diagram. Here you may able to see branch, columns, cause and label. So I have a personal, I have machines. I'm, I'm cross validating all the labels I have, personal, then machines also I have. I don't have a material. Instead of material, I have a reasons called others. Then methods, I have methods. Measurement, I have a measurement. I don't have, I have an environment. So here also I have an environment, right? So now I'm going to select the respective bones for that fishbone diagram. Personal, machine, The third one is others. The fourth one is methods. The fifth one is measurement. The last one is environment. So where we have the sub uh, sub categorization for uh, the uh, causes. So in the personal column, we have a step absence. For a step absence, we have a, a sub causes, right? So here I am clicking so In the causes, I am selecting the absence, right? Then I am clicking OK. Here I have to enter the effect. Let me con let me consider or let me assume we have prepared the fishbone diagram for the delay in getting the cap. Then I am putting the title Fishbone Diagram for Cap Delay. Right. So now I have, I have uh, selected all the required fields. I have entered the effect. I have entered the title as well. Now I am clicking OK. By clicking OK, we are able to see the Fishbone Diagram for the Cap delay. There is a delay in getting the cap. So we have prepared the fishbone diagram for the cap delay process. Right. I hope you are able to understand, you are able to follow how you can create the fishbone diagram in the mini tab. Thank you, friends.